Tinkercad recently introduced a new scribble tool where you can hand draw anything and turn it into a 3D print. I used my iPad and just drew my name and 3D printed it on this TiVo Michelangelo. I'll show you all the details on today's Film of Friday. Film of Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. And they get special access to ChepClub.com. Please join us. The new feature in Tinkercad is called the Scribble Tool. Right now it's in beta, but you can use it. All you do is grab it from the side just like any block, drop it on the bed, and it should jump to this new screen, but I had to tap mine on the iPad. Now you've got a completely separate screen that you can automatically draw anything you want. And it highlights it, and then from there you can draw a shape just by dragging your finger. And it makes this all into a 3D object. If you click on Show Preview up here, it'll give you a 3D rendering of what you just drew. There's also a tool for taking away blocks with a shape. You've also got an erase tool so you can modify little spots just by rubbing your finger. If you want to erase the whole thing, then you can use the eraser and just scrub it out just like you would a smudge on glass. And when you're done, it all just disappears. When you're ready to go back to the regular Tinkercad screen, you just click done here in the corner and then your drawing is 3D rendered on the Tinkercad screen. And here you can resize it. So I can click on it, drag it down, and set it to actually like a two millimeter tall. And now I have my name that I can export just like any STL file. I'm running the Chrome browser on my iPad in order to run Tinkercad. And when I click download, it says it downloaded it, but I can't figure out where it went. So I decided to just go to my desktop because there I know where it's gonna download it. And because it's in the cloud, I can get to this file from anywhere. Once I got into Tinkercad, there it was. I downloaded the .stl file, and now I had it on my computer. I received a TiVo Michelangelo. This is a small 150 cube printer that comes fully assembled, ready to use. It's got an LCD screen at the front and a full-size SD card slot. I like that. It's got a nice fuse-protected on-off switch and plug. Very nice but it's got an unheated bed, so it's really just a PLA machine, and it doesn't come with a spool holder. I added this myself from my Anycubic. There are these two threaded holes on the side, so either I didn't get a bracket with mine, or a spool holder is coming in the future. I loaded it into Simplify 3D, and I didn't have a profile, couldn't find one, so I made one from the TiVo Tornado. And all I did was change it to 150 by 150 by 150 and then used all the standard settings. I printed this at a 0.3 layer height, 15% fill, 215 degrees C and 60 millimeters per second. When I clicked prepare to print, it said it would only take 10 minutes to print. I saved it to the SD card, plugged the SD card into the TiVo, and I started my first print. Now this first one actually came out kind of rough. This was actually the second print. It came out much better once I changed some retraction settings. The top layer still has some gaps, but this is a simplified 3D thing. That's not the TiVo. I've seen this on other printers. This is why I've started using Cura 3.2 a lot more. I'm just not happy with, with what Simplify 3D is doing here. Being able to hand draw something like this and then turn it into a 3D print, I think that's a great way to introduce 3D printing to a lot of people, not just kids. And this Michelangelo is a $200 printer. So to get started, it's not as expensive as other printers. Though for 200 bucks, you can get one with a heated bed, but it printed pretty good. And like I said, I got a lot of improvements to make. If you want to see a full review, check out Joe, 3D Maker Noob. He put a video out earlier today. He does a great job summarizing it. If you watch Film on Friday on a regular basis, you know I love Tinkercad. I use it all the time, share tips and tricks with you guys through my videos. And a new tool like this, the Scribble tool, is just fantastic. There's so many ideas popping in my head of things I can do with it. I know this has already been out there and other software like Morphe, but the fact that I, we now have it in Tinkercad, it's fantastic. If you know where the files go on Chrome browser on your iPad, please let me know. I've done some searching. I can't figure it out. It's either somewhere in the new file section or it's hidden or it never really downloads. So let me know in the comments if you know. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time right here. The film of Friday.